Most of you have probably produced musical sounds by blowing or striking bottles that are partially filled with liquid. Here I have six cream soda bottles that I put uh, green colored water in to differing heights. We've got the empty bottle and then over here we have one that's um, more closely filled. If I strike the bottles, notice what happens to the pitch that you hear as we go from the empty bottle to the more full bottle. When we strike the bottle, the bottle that's empty has the highest pitch sound. The bottle that has more liquid in it has a lower pitch sound. However, if we blow over the bottles, the sounds that we produce have the opposite um, pattern. The empty bottle is the lower pitch sound, while a bottle with more liquid in it is a higher pitch sound. When you blow over the bottle, the more liquid that's in the bottle, the higher the pitch. But when you strike it, the more liquid that's in the bottle, the lower the pitch. So why are they different? Why does blowing in an empty bottle give us a low pitch, but striking the empty bottle gives us the high pitch, and blowing in a more full bottle gives us a high pitch, but striking it gives us the lower pitch. The difference that we get is in what is doing the vibrating to cause the sound. When we blow over the bottle, we're vibrating the air column inside the bottle. Just like with long tubes or the PVC pipes, the longer the air column, the lower the pitch. A longer air column gives us a longer wavelength of sound wave inside of that air column, which gives us a lower frequency. Longer wavelength, lower frequency. Lower frequency is lower pitch. So blowing in this bottle, I get a longer wavelength, lower pitch sound generated than this one, which is a shorter wavelength and higher frequency, higher pitch produced. But when I strike the bottle, it's the glass itself that does the vibrating to cause the sound. It's not the air column inside the bottle, it's the glass that vibrates. When I strike the bottle, a bottle that has more liquid in it, the liquid kind of impedes the vibration of the glass and causes it to vibrate with a lower frequency. The glass that's empty, the bottle that's empty, is not impeded in its vibration, so it'll vibrate at a higher pitch. So the more liquid we have in the bottle, the lower the frequency of vibration of the glass and the lower pitch we hear. But the more liquid we have in the bottle when we blow over it, the higher pitch we hear because the air column is shortened. Next time you are drinking out of a bottle, try it out. As you drink some, blow over it and see that you get a lower pitch. But as you, you strike it, see that the pitch gets higher as the bottle gets empty.